Hey scientists, let's take a moment to talk about the Earth's surface. The surface of the Earth is made up of many varying features, but how did they all form? The surface of the Earth changes through weathering, erosion, and deposition, and each of these processes can be caused by wind, water, or ice. Let's look at weathering first. Weathering is when rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by wind, water, or ice. Wind weathers rocks by carrying small rocks and sands and hitting a larger rock, which causes little pieces to slowly break off. Water weathers rock in similar ways. The water carries smaller rocks, and as they hit the larger rock, it breaks. Ice weathers differently. It fills tiny cracks in the rock as water, and then as it freezes and expands, it makes a tiny crack much, much larger until the rock breaks. Erosion is when wind, water, or ice carry off those broken, weathered pieces of rocks. Just like weathering, erosion can be caused by wind blowing the pieces away, water carrying the pieces away, or by ice in the form of glaciers pushing the pieces away. Deposition happens when wind, water, or ice deposit or arrange the broken pieces of rock. You can have deposition caused by wind leaving pieces of rock like sand dunes forming, or you can have water leaving pieces of rock. And we can even have glaciers leaving pieces of rock behind in their trail. An easy way to remember which one is which is that weathering breaks it, Erosion takes it, and deposition arranges or deposits and leaves it. When the rock is broken, it turns into soil. There are five different components of soil. You can have humus, sand, silt, clay, and loam. Humus is organic matter, and it's made of dead and decomposing plants, like compost. Sand, silt, and clay are all pieces of rock and minerals. Sand is the largest. Due to its size, it doesn't retain water well, and so without a lot of water, it doesn't support plant life either. Next is silt. Silt is much, much smaller than sand, and it's the best single soil component. That's because it drains well, which means it supports plant life. The smallest type is clay. Due to its small size, it retains water really well, but it also packs together, so sometimes it's hard for water to get into clay. Clay is unique in that if you rub it in your hands, it'll form a tight ball. When you have a perfect mixture of all of these, you have loam. The clay is able to hold in all of the moisture, while silt and sand helps to drain. It's the best for plant life, and the organic matter inside of the humus helps give plants all of the vitamins and minerals that they need. Let's stop and look at some questions. 